Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brad Cooper. This weekend, a rather disturbing video from 2018 resurfaced on the internet as an example of Disney and Warner Media's grotesque level of child exploitation and sexual grooming. Sounds nice and lighthearted, right? This is a great way for me to start my Thursday morning. So this video was called The 11-Year-Old Trailblazing Drag Kid. Desmond is amazing. And if you haven't heard the name Desmond Napolis, get ready for this trailblazing 11-year-old drag kid who RuPaul is calling the future. His bravery is inspiring so many. We're gonna talk to him in just a moment, but first, let's take a look at his amazing story. I am Desmond, I'm 11 years old, and I like pizza, trains, and drinking root beers and it's caffeine-free. I also do drag and I love to put on makeup, dresses, and wigs, and of course, jewelry is necessary. My full drag name is Desmond is Amazing. I feel very happy to have a mom that accepts me. It really touches me deeply that there are other children out there that he's reaching and they're listening to him. I'm very proud of him. I'm proud that he's found his path so early. My greatest joy in this is just seeing Desmond happy. It just feels amazing to know that people love what I do. My one big message would be three words, be yourself always. Please welcome Desmond Naples, AKA Desmond is amazing. these people just cheering. It's creepy. This kid looks drugged. Are we not going to talk about the fact that this is a room full of adults standing around cheering as an 11 year old boy? Now, now nothing that he was doing was inherently like sexual, but the whole drag queen culture and what a drag queen is, is sexual in nature. They're all sitting around. <laughs> this is not like some little girl doing a ballet dance recital. It's okay. It's just weird. These people all need to be ashamed of themselves. Thanks for being here. <laughs> I love that you love root beer caffeine free. Mm -hmm. I can get on board with that. My mom doesn't like me drinking caffeine. Apparently caffeine is a no-no, but dressing up as a woman. Perfect. Jasmine, you're one of the youngest and first drag queen slash kids and I've heard, you, I've heard that you've gotten messages from young adults who look up to you for being who you are. What are some of the notes you've gotten? Some of the notes I've gotten are like that you inspire me very much and I wish I could have had the support that you have um, when I was a child. Yeah. And your parents we saw your parents in the piece that we did, and your parents are so supportive of you, but they, they've also, they've encouraged you to stay and be who you are. So, how has that inspired you to be open about dad. dressing in drag? Dad. They support me by letting me do what I want to do, and um, letting me um, dress up. Some people have criticized you. What do you say to them? It's fine. Um, <laughs> Desmond here, so thank you, Desmond. But we also have some people that wanted to come see you personally. So please welcome Head of Lettuce. Getting the big guns in. And we've got Chanel. Please come out. Imagine getting tickets to go see Good Morning America and you think you're just going to, you know, see some casual thing and then suddenly you're some old boomer being bombarded with drag queens. Just funny. These people seem to be enjoying it. This lady in the front row with her like little striped scarf, she has not stopped smiling the entire time. She's like. So for, for you three, when you when you see Desmond, what, what comes to mind? What do you think about? Inspirational. Yeah. Great. <laughs> 
I wish, because I started uh, doing drag at 15 years old, and obviously not 11, but I wish, even at that age, that I could have had the courage that you have to do what you do. This isn't the kid being courageous. They're giving him, you know, accolades for, you know, being so brave and accepting himself. No, like what's really happening is the parents are giving him props and costumes and orchestrating all of this weird crap that they have going on. And I think it's also awesome that you are blessed with parents that yeah. love and support you unconditionally. I was given some hope by the comments on that video. Someone said, that one black guy in the crowd that didn't clap deserves a key to the city. I didn't see him. I should go back and try to find it. I, everybody in that audience, just a sea of like mindless cheering. There's a documentary of him where it says his mom put him in front of the TV at two years old to watch RuPaul's drag show. No wonder he grew up to be this way. I'm telling you, it's orchestrated. Let's see, a trans kid is like a vegan cat. Everyone knows who's making the decisions. My mom doesn't like me drinking caffeine. At least we know his parents are raising him right. Oh, that's tough. Okay, so Desmond has only grown in popularity since this video came out in 2018, but he's also been in a ton of controversy with the majority of the internet calling his parents out as groomers and affirming that this whole bit is, you know, disgusting and honestly detrimental to his childhood. So we just have to watch a few more videos. This is from a live stream that he did with another drag queen. This is live, so this is from a question that somebody asked him. <laughs> do you do 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 you do ketamine on the couch? Do it. Ugh, you're an idiot. Kids, what has this world come to? It's come to a world where drag kids actually exist. And people do ketamine on a couch. <sighs> do you not just do that? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell? I'm done. Goodbye. So somebody on a live stream asked if this child and this adult drag queen did ketamine on the couch. Why are you, why? I mean, that question is just creepy. Like these people are talking to him and looking at him as if he is some promiscuous adult. No, he, he was 11 years old in that clip. Like obviously kids are stupid and play around and make dumb jokes, but pretending to snort ketamine while he sits next to an adult drag queen. Like what parent is okay with that? Like how? How does he know how to do that? Like, I think it kind of clues you in on the environment that he's been in. Okay, so HuffPost put this video out in 2019. I was born in Pride Month in the year 2007. Gay pride means self-expression to me. I discovered that I wanted to drag when I watched the first episode of RuPaul's Drag Race um, when I was two. Uh, you do not decide that you want to do drag at two years old after watching one episode. You know who decides that? Your weirdo parents. And if you wanted to drag, just start off with a little wig and some lip gloss and a little like t-shirt and a little skirt and some heels or sneakers, whatever. You can be a drag queen no matter what. I've always been able to be myself because of my supporting mom and dad. Say hi, mom. Hi. That's my mom and I love her to death. Drag is a form of expression and being yourself and it dressing however you want and looking fierce no matter what you're wearing even if your eyeliner went down and it's like so bad um you still look fierce this reminds me of like drunk girls in the bathroom of a bar being like you still look fierce like their hair is a mess and like mascara is dripping but they're still hyping themselves up except this is 11 year old boy i need to keep driving that home anyway thank god the internet had some rationality when responding to this video most of the comments were people saying like this is weird these parents are groomers this is creepy obviously he's not doing this on his own one person said uh, I'm sorry, but as a bisexual woman, I think this is going too far. This is literally child abuse. Adults are taking advantage of a minor. They are sexualizing a minor. What the f***? Yup. Point blank. I think that regardless of where you land on the political aisle, I think you can, you know, look at a child in this situation and say this is wrong. There are still some groomers out there with their heads in the sand. This person said, I am so, so, so confused as to why everyone is bashing this so much. He's having fun. He's doing it as of his own will. He's exploring creativity in a safe way and expressing himself in an outward, healthy manner. The only way this is sexual if, is if you make it that way, y'all are gross. Of his own will? No, he is a child. 
he might enjoy this little dreamland fantasy world of attention that he's getting. Maybe he genuinely likes sparkles. That's totally fine if he does. But there there has to be an adult behind this. That's also such a left wing tactic that if we criticize something, they immediately turn it back on you and say, you are the sexualizing one. You're the racist. Like, no, we are simply calling out your behavior for what it is. So, I mean, like, look at this other video. This is also from a couple of years ago. Daily Wire actually uh, wrote about it and a bunch of other conservative outlets covered it as well. It went viral and Desmond's parents proudly got the footage. Somebody in the audience filmed it and they posted it on his YouTube. I'm going to read part of the caption. His parents say, here it is. The performance that broke the internet in December 2018. This is the infamous Brooklyn performance. Why the scandal? Well, shortly after this performance, the conservative media went on a bender claiming that Desmond was stripping, dancing on a pole, and moving in a sexual manner, seducing pedophiles, and hanging out in a bar around alcohol, was half naked and gyrating for money. He was coined the Bachabazi of Brooklyn. <laughs> Building a doll? Oh my god, he ripped off the head. Oh! Yes, he did. Oh, that's weird. You guys know the whole like dance moms culture, like the competitive dance stuff. I want to like have full transparency and I'm big on consistency across the board. I also think that that stuff is creepy. Like eight year old girls in like sparkly little bikinis gyrating and like twerking across the stage. That also is weird. So I'm not saying this just because it's a drag queen thing and whatever, and it's LGBTQ activists, whatever. No. Again, across the board, sexualizing children, putting them on a stage half naked in front of adults, filming them is freaking weird. Kapow! Truth bomb. Like he is wearing a crop top, not just like a crop top, basically a bra and people are giving him money. Where is the lie? Like, I'm sorry, conservative outlets, they got it right. Like these parents, his team, his fans, they are exploiting this child. Like that is as clear as I can be. They are sexualizing him. So like, wake up. This is what extreme progressive ideology is leading to. Hey guys, we're adding new comment section content every day. So make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you don't miss a single video.